definitely unfair. The reason why it's unfair because y'all know we talk about when the man slipped with narcissist abuse. So you dealing with a person that look at all the people put unfair in there. You dealing with a person that you thought was one way, only to find out they are totally different way. So therefore, it's unfair. It's unfair from day one because they never truly told you who they were and what they do and how they go about their business. Look at all the unfair, sick, unfair. I'm with you, one-sided, definitely. So you got to realize that these people are playing this game unfairly from day one. And I've talked about this before. That's because they target you. It's not, it's not all about your booty or your beauty. It's not all about your muscles or, or your bald head, fellas. It's about them looking at you and knowing that if they get with you, they're going to be able to get the supply that they need to get. So therefore, it's an unfair advantage for the person because you're never taught this in school. They should be talking about narcissist abuse in school. It should be a subject when you think about it. How many of y'all would like to see y'all kids learn about narcissist abuse in high school? I mean, I know we can teach them, but I, I, I would think this is something they should start teaching. They, they should start teaching. That's a lot of things they should start teaching about, actually, it, about, about buying houses, about mortgage, about credit, credit cards, how to establish credit. But narcissist abuse should be high on the list of, of the curriculum at any high school, at least. Middle school might be pushing it, but to me, high school should be teaching a course on how to deal with narc because think about it, it's too many teenagers. Well, hey, it's too many adults that don't know what a narcissist is. So think about the 16, 17, 18 year old that's going out into the real world that's going to deal with this demonic figure in the workplace. Go get married to one. Go date a few of them. Go get pregnant by one. Go get tricked into getting pregnant by one. I mean, think about what I'm saying. Yeah, like Shannon said, <laughs> exactly. Ten credits. That should be a ten credit course. You you should be able to you should be able to take that course and get yeah. I think it should be a course that's taught in high school. Who knows what's going to happen? Maybe we can come up with an idea and figure out that we can get certain certain school. Who knows? You never know how these things go. But I do think it's something that should be taught in school because it's too much. It's too much narcissist abuse going on around the world. We're not even talking about just America. We're talking about all around the world. You can go talk to somebody in Europe. You can talk to somebody in Africa. You can talk to somebody in Australia. You can talk to somebody in Guam. You can talk to somebody in uh, in Asia. You can talk to somebody in Russia. You can name whatever country you want, whatever city you want. If they've been with a narcissist, I guarantee the story is going to sound similar. Just think about it. But if we was able to get some courses taught in high school all around the world, well, I would think that narcissist abuse would take a hard hit that people would understand what they're looking for they would understand what a narcissist is they would know where it's not just somebody that's conceited and looking in the mirror all day like i once thought it's more demonic it's more evil than that so they kind of know what to look for and we'll have we'll go from how many people know about it now to probably quadruple people knowing about that even higher but i think it should be taught in high school i'm just saying so how many of you, my next question, how many of you think that walking away from abuse is easy? I'll wait. It's not talking about any kind of abuse, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, financial, spiritual abuse. How many of you in, in the chat can honestly think, or honestly, that's what you think, that walking away from abuse is easy? It's, it's a yes or no. I'll put my, I'll put my, I'll put my answer in there first. <laughs> Carmen say run. You know, they thought I lost weight literally overnight. Well, I went from looking like this to this. It's not easy. It's not easy. And, uh, you know, the other question is, how many of you think that walking away from the abuse is hard? It's it's harder than some of y'all experienced this. So, you know, it's hard. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It is hard to walk away from financial abuse, because you got to think about, let's break down financial abuse real quick. When they playing these games with you, they start going into your account, taking a little money out. Or when you're about to go through the divorce, you get hit with a divorce paper. They didn't went into the account and drained all your money out. They didn't took your ten, fifteen, thirty thousand dollars you had saved up in your own account. They didn't took it because you gave them 
Shannon talks about this all the time. You didn't give them legal access to that account. And now they got access to the account. They take all your money out your account. So you can't just leave at that point. You don't have any money. So if it's physical abuse, they've been hitting on it and beating on you and got your kids scared in the house and all this, that, and the third. And how are you going to leave, walk away from that? Because you're so scared that they're going to elevate the abuse to something worse. So that's going to be hard. emotional abuse. They wear you down by telling you you're nothing. They're telling you you're not pretty. They're telling you you're fat. They're telling you too skinny. They tell they don't like your hair. They're telling you they don't like your, your bald head. I, mean, I can't even grow no hair, but they don't like that either. But I'm just saying they tell you all these things only to destroy who you are as a person to use that against you later because now they're making it that much harder because you start to believe that you're nobody, that nobody loves you, that nobody will ever love you, that you'll never find nothing like nobody like them. Quality is, is kept. I don't want to find nobody like a narcissist. Just saying. That's between us. I'm playing. But what I'm saying is, so they do all these different things to you and they make it hard for that person to leave. So if you went through financial abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, any one of those abuses, and some, some, sometimes they'll go even further, which is very evil. They'll use the Bible against you. That's why you got to read the Bible for yourself. If you don't read the Bible for yourself and don't know what's going on, these people will have you believing things in the Bible. And don't get me started about preachers in the pool pit. Shannon did a great video on there about pimps in the pool pit. Go check that out. But these people leading, they flock to slaughter. So these people will have you saying, you know, about the Bible, about how you're supposed to support them and all kinds of different things and how you think you can't get a divorce because they didn't cheat on you, but they abusing you. Hey, how you doing, Christine? S. welcome, welcome. They abusing you, so they have you thinking that, well, I can't leave this marriage until they cheat. And they might be cheating on you, but you ain't caught them, so therefore, you see what I'm saying? So now what? So now what? What I do now? He ain't cheating on me. She ain't cheating on me. The, he got me believing the Bible said, you know, I can't leave unless they cheat. But he been beating me and he been hitting on me or he been taking all my money. Now what? You got to take that to God. I can't tell you what to do, but I only can tell you what I would do and what I did. You got to go. You got to leave and, and, and get your healing. But take that to God. Don't listen to me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Take that to God. Let me read a few more and I'll jump back in the chat. Hey, how you doing? Uh, life is a blessing. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you all for being. Make sure you all hit the like button. Thank you. If you're a new subscriber, hey, thank you for subscribing. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so how many of you have been part of the games narcissist play? You know, I like my, I, I'm getting into more interactive so I can kind of see who paying attention. How many of you have been part of the games narcissist play? I, I Put a one in the chat. We'll do that easy. Put a one in the chat. I'll go ahead and put my one in there. 